What is our city coming to? Article by Lori Fitzgerald. Our city is a very strange place. From the standing stone circle at the bottom of Finwich Lake, to the shimmering boreal lights that hover about the peak of Mount Ymir all throughout the winter months. Most news sources don't care about that stuff. They barely ever cross the boundaries beyond politics, sex scandals, movie news, and about half of the violent crime that goes on around here. Well, that one's excusable, all things considered. But we here at the Prowler like to dig a bit deeper. We want to peel away the armor and see what's underneath all the lights and glamour. Since this paper's inaugural issue in October 2003, I've been looking for the weirdest and most overlooked news, and I've been getting that in spades. But recently, something's been feeling... off. There's a bad undercurrent in everything, a tension that no one is really acknowledging. I've been battling depression for a while for reasons that I'm not going to discuss, and I've been doing some digging into the more grounded parts of my city to take my mind off of things. Because of this, I found a few unsettling facts and they've led me to something deeply disturbing. Did you know, for instance, that out of a hundred, only 6% of the crime rate in this city has to do with drugs or gang-related violence? 10% goes to robberies and domestic cases, and the remaining 84% goes to murder, sexually motivated violence, and hate crimes. I looked at some of the surveys from the early 2000s, and they were vastly different from what they are now. More balanced. Did you also know that, as of 2015, a survey done by the FBI, released under an FOIA request, has shown that our city has over a hundred different cults, which have popped up in the past three years, these cults include the Saints of the Hollow Earth, the Church of Pure Unity, and the Fold, who were prime suspects in the ritual murders that hit our city last year. And how many of you knew that this city has been the host to more unexplained occurrences and discoveries than Salem, New Orleans, and Gettysburg combined? I've been keeping track of these things, and I never really found the time or the desire to put any of it in until recently, when an ugly new symptom of whatever disease this city has has made itself known. I doubt I need to stress just how big our city is. Rosedale is a metropolis, an urban sprawl, and it's pretty easy to lose track of someone in all the mazes of the back alleys and the abandoned places. We've all heard these horror stories about the kids who play hide-and-seek in the alleyways and find a body belonging to some poor bastard who got lost a year previously. It's horrible. But one person going missing isn't easily noticeable, not with a population of over five and a half million people. However, it should not be easy to lose track of more than a hundred people in the course of two weeks. The people to which I refer to are part of our large, but often overlooked homeless population. They've been beneath the notice of a lot of people. Some of you are probably of guilty of this, dear readers. And now they're vanishing. We here at the Prowler have a lot of contacts in the homeless community. They are, after all, the overlooked minority, and they seem more than most let on. And, over the last few weeks, we've been seeing less and less of them. The people that we can get to talk all say that people have been going missing in the dead of night. No one out there knows what's happening, and none of us on the Prowler staff know either. And the police just don't care. But then again, when have they ever? These are innocent people. They're single mothers and fathers. They're war veterans who got screwed by the system. They're runaways and potential prey to exploitive monsters. These are people who need protection, and none of us have seen the police force raise a finger to help them, not even with the evidence that we collected. Oh yeah, we managed to get some evidence together. Pictures of shanties that were torn apart and sleeping bags ripped up like someone had taken a hunting knife to them. Footprints in the mud, smashed light bulbs near the places that the disappeared frequented. Hell, we even found a blood splatter near one spot. But the police didn't consider them. We took them to Captain Powell herself and she gave us the same we'll look into it when we have more resources crap that all of us know is just her way of telling us that we don't have a chance in hell of drawing attention to this. So I feel like this needs to be said and said right now. Rosedale is sick. Rosedale's been sick for a while now and this recent series of disappearances is yet another symptom of something worse. I don't know what it is, but I'd like to find out. Until then, dear readers, stay cautious and keep your doors locked at night. <laughs>